From the most extreme weather ever recorded on Earth to a strange phenomenon known as St Elmo's Fire. Join us as we take a look at 20 extreme weather facts you probably don't know. Did you know you can tell the temperature by listening to a cricket's chirp? Dolbear's Law, published by Amos Dolbear in 1897, uses the following formula to calculate the air temperature in Fahrenheit using the number of chirps a cricket makes per minute. Cyclones, hurricanes and typhoons are all the same weather phenomenon. The name of the event depends on where it occurs. Cyclones only occur in the South Pacific and Indian Oceans, hurricanes in the Atlantic and Northeast Pacific, and typhoons in the Northwest Pacific. The longest recorded hurricane lasted for 31 days. Because it moved from the Northeast Pacific into the Northwest Pacific and back again, its status changed from a hurricane to a typhoon and back to a hurricane again. The hottest temperature ever recorded on Earth occurred on the 13th of September 1922 in Al Azizia, Libya. It reached a sweltering 58 degrees Celsius, which is 136.4 degrees Fahrenheit. The coldest temperature ever recorded on Earth occurred on the 21st of July 1983 at the Vostok Station, Antarctica. It fell to an icy minus 89.6 degrees Celsius, which is minus 129.28 degrees Fahrenheit. A lightning bolt can travel at speeds of up to 218,871 kilometers per hour, which is around 136,000 miles per hour, and can reach temperatures of 30,000 degrees Celsius, which is 54,032 degrees Fahrenheit. That is hotter than the sun. You're far more likely to be struck by lightning twice than you are winning Powerball. According to CBS, you have a 1 in 12,000 chance of being struck by lightning once, a 1 in 9 million chance of being struck by lightning twice, and a 1 in 292 million chance of winning the Powerball. The phenomenon known as St. Elmo's fire occurs when there is a discharge from a sharp or pointed object in a strong electric field, often during a thunderstorm. The electric field causes ionization of the air molecules, which produces a blue flame-like light. It can be seen on tall pointed objects like a church steeple or the mast of a ship, but has even been witnessed on blades of grass and even the tips of cattle horns. The phenomenon is only usually visible in low light. An electric field like the one produced during a thunderstorm may cause some objects to emit a buzzing sound and a person's hair to stand on end. These can be signs that a lightning strike is imminent. Michael and Sean McQuilkin, the two brothers pictured here in this photo, witnessed the phenomena firsthand just moments before a lightning strike struck Sean and killed another mountain climber on Morro Rock in California's Sequoia National Park in 1975. The wettest place on Earth is Morsenram, India. It receives an amazing 11 meters, which is around 36 feet of rainfall each and every year. The driest place on Earth is Antofagasta, Chile. It only receives a miserly 0.1 millimeters, which is around 0.004 inches of rainfall every year. The Kerala red rain phenomenon occurred in the Indian state of Kerala from the 25th of July to the 23rd of September 2001. Blood red rain fell from the sky in heavy downpours, staining clothes pink. Initially, it was thought that the red rain may have been caused by a burst meteor, but it was later discovered that the rain got its unusual colour from a type of local algae. The strongest wind ever recorded occurred on Mount Washington, New Hampshire, USA. It reached a toupee loosening 371.8 kilometers, which is around 231 miles per hour. The biggest hailstones ever recorded fell in Bangladesh on the 14th of April 1986. They weighed in at over a kilo, which is around 2.2 pounds each, and killed 92 people. A water spout is a columnar vortex of water similar to a tornado that forms by rotating air, usually over tropical water. Occasionally, a water spout is so strong it can pick up aquatic life such as fish, frogs and even turtles and lift them high into the air. The animals can then be carried in the clouds, kept aloft by the wind. Eventually, these animals fall to the ground, many still alive. Though not a common occurrence, people have experienced raining fish up to 160 kilometers, which is around 100 miles inland. Tropical storms are given names from an alphabetically ordered list determined by the World Meteorological Organization. The names can only be repeated after six years, but if a storm causes large amounts of destruction, the name is retired permanently, and a new name starting with that letter is added to the list. This system was invented to easily distinguish different storms happening at the same time in different parts of the world. 
The world's largest snowflake fell in Fort Keogh, Montana, USA on the 28th of January 1887. It was recorded at a staggering 38 centimetres wide and 20 centimetres thick. The town of Yuma, Arizona, USA is the sunniest place on Earth. It has a pleasant 4,000 hours of sunshine per year. In the 16th and 18th century, extremely cold winters hit the UK. The period became known as the Little Ice Age, and it was so cold that in 1684 the River Thames froze solid for two months. On the 14th of April 1935, a dust storm hit the US that was so severe that many people suffocated from dust filling their lungs. Oklahoma and Texas were the worst states to be hit, in an area known as America's Dust Bowl. Black Sunday, as it was later named, was the result of a combination of events. Drought, high winds and over-farming that had left the land bare created a giant dust cloud that was estimated to have displaced 300 million tonnes of topsoil from the area. Well, hey, so what's the most extreme weather you've ever encountered? Have you ever seen giant hailstones, been in a tornado, or something else entirely? Let us know in the comment section below and we'll have a good chat about it. And that's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all next time.